Hi, my name is Lolly, and I'm currently a junior taking Buddhism with our teacher, Mr. Squires. Um, in our class, we do a lot of video reflections on what we've been doing in the class. And since our year is coming to a close, Mr. Squires gave us a final video project in which we just have to talk about our experience in the class and sort of what we've gotten out of the class. So I'm going to talk to you a little bit about, first, what we've done in meditation, second, what we've read in our book, and third, what I hope to do with Buddhism after I finish with this class. Meditation really played a large part in our class this year, seeing as we basically meditated more than 50% of the time. So I really enjoyed the meditation. It was something that's definitely new and something that I haven't been able to do in any other class at my school. So I really, really liked it. We did two different types of poses in our class, including shikantaza, which is a sitting up pose that is really hard to master, and also meditation while laying down, which can be hard to master seeing as if you're really tired, you can fall asleep. Um, we got a lot out of both different types of meditation. The meditation where you're laying down, there were different types of breathings that we did, such as the pranam breathing, and the earth breathing, and a 12 breaths um, practice where you breathe into your ad abdomen and really take in as much air and let out as much stale air as you possibly can. And I really thought that this type of breathing really helped because not only when you're laying down but also if you're stressed out or something, if you do these 12 breaths or these earth breaths or anything that can really get you into your body and get you to stop worrying about whatever you're worrying about, you can really focus more and calm yourself, which is something that I've really been able to use. Thank you to meditation. Unfortunately, I wasn't at my school on the days when we did chic and toss up poses, but I have done some meditation sitting up, and on our very first day, actually, we did do a sitting up meditation pose. And it's um, easy to say that it was really hard. Um, my legs started to cramp up. I couldn't feel my feet. I had lost circulation in my feet after about 25 minutes. And it's actually really hard on like your back and other parts of your body to sit up straight for as long as we did. So with practice, I know that I can definitely get better with the shikantaza pose, as other people do. But it takes practice and it takes commitment. I really don't think that you can meditate for one day and then not meditate for another week and try and go back and have as much skill or poise as you did before. When we weren't meditating in our class, the other half of the time we spent reading our book, The Secrets of the Vajra World, A Tantric Buddhism of Tibet by Reginald Ray. Um, this book, we didn't read all of it, but we did read some portions. And one thing that we really focused on since I made my last video was the mandala. And this mandala is basically a map of the human psyche, and it divides people into five different families, five different Buddha families, known as Padma, Ratna, Buddha, Karma, and Vajra. And each of these five families are not only associated with the person, but also the directions such as earth, south, or east, south, west, north, and center, and also um, different elements such as space, earth, wind, fire, and water. And we all were given the task of trying to see what family we belong to. And I found out that I mostly belong to the Ratna family. And the Ratna family is the Ratna Sambala family. And it is described as the earth family. And a person who is described as Ratna or earth is really grounded. And this person has a lot of pride and that can be their downfall, but they're also extremely generous. And I can really see myself as one of those people because I'm one of those people who people will come to me with problems, or I help my friends out, or I take time out of my day. I'm not trying to toot my own horn or anything, but I help other people. And that's the generous part that I really can see come out in me. And a lot of other people such as Ben Edwards in my class, he also identified with the Ratna family, and I can totally see that because he's such a wholehearted person and everything, and I can really see that he is generous and helps out other people. And, yeah. So this book 
I'm really excited to read the rest of it. Okay. And also the other book, The Indestructible Truth. Maybe I'll read those sometime in the future or refer to them whenever I'm talking about Buddhism if I ever really want to represent Buddhism well. Now that the year is coming to a close, me along with the other kids who are left in the Buddhism class who haven't graduated have really been thinking about what we're going to be doing with Buddhism after we leave this class. Um, I talked to two of my friends who are freshmen in the class right now and they said that they would like to take the class again when they're older and take it and already have sort of a leg up or a better perspective on what Buddhism is and really take all they can take into the class. And me and my friend Henry, who are already juniors and won't be able to take the class again, um, I don't know what Henry wants to do, but I know that I really want to use some of the tools that I got from Buddhism and put them into my real life, such as living in the moment, the only moment that ever really matters is now, and living in the now can help you in the future, because if you're thinking about the future, then sometimes you're not in the moment, and if you're not in the moment, then you can make it a bad decision. So I really want to take the idea of living in the moment, such as Trung Parim Poche said, and continue to live that way. I also want to use some of the meditation practices that I learned um, to help me de-stress or to really become focused on a topic or a subject. Um, that can definitely help in college during exam week or something like that, or even the exams that are coming up next week. I know that some of these, these 12 breaths or this earth breathing or some kind of meditation where I just really get out of my mind, get out of my head, that could always help. So that's what I hope to take out of Buddhism and take away from Buddhism. And I'm so glad that I took this class, and I know that it's something that I'm only going to get at my school. And I'm glad that I took the opportunity. So thank you.